In this section, we will do the inverse of our section 2.4 homework. We found the equations of the lines in section 2.4, and in this section, we will find the inverse of those. So in order for to find the inverse, what we have to do is we have to switch our x and y. Everything else stays the exact same, except I switch x and y. So instead of y equals, I change it to x equals. So it's going to be x equals negative 5 over 4, y plus 7. So if you notice, I changed everything, uh, changed the x and y and left everything else the same. So then now we've got everything, now that we got the x and y switched, now we want to solve for y. So I want to get the y by itself. So we've solved before. So I have to get rid of this plus 7. I go minus 7 from here and minus 7 from here. So the plus 7 and the minus 7 will cancel. And that is going to leave us with x minus 7 on this side. And a negative 5 over 4 on this side. So now I have to get rid of this negative 5 over 4. Since that's a fraction, we know that the reciprocal will cancel. So I want to multiply by a negative 4 over 5. And then I come over to this side, and I'm also going to multiply by a negative 4 over 5. So what happens is, is my 4, negative 4 cancels, 5, 5 cancels, and that leaves us with y equals, and then that's going to be a negative 4 fifths x. So I distribute this 4 fifths to everything. Distribute it there and to there. So negative 4 fifths times x is a negative 4 fifths x and negative 4 fifths times negative 7 the negative times a negative makes that a positive and then I go that as 7 over 1 so 7 times 4 would be 28 5 times 1 would be 5 so your answer on this problem is going to be the inverse the inverse of number 7 is y equals negative 4 over 5 x plus 28 over 5. And that is your answer for number 7. I'll now move on to number 19. This one is in point slope form. Still the same process as before. First thing I want to do is switch my x and y. So instead of y minus, uh, let's see, instead of y minus, I want to make that x minus 1 equals negative 2. Instead of being x minus 5, I want to make that y minus 5. So now that I've got my x and y switched, now I want to go ahead and I want to get my y by itself. So on this one, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this negative 2 first. So I'm going to go negative 2 times this and negative 2 times this. So that's going to leave us on this. I will leave this as x minus 1 equals negative 2 times y is negative 2y. Negative 2 times negative 5 is a positive 10. So now I want to get the y by itself. So I'm going to get rid of this plus 10. I'm going to say minus 10 from both sides. And since there's already a number on the other side, I'm going to combine those two constants. The 10 and the negative 10 cancel. And that leaves us with negative 2y equals x. Negative 1 and negative 10 gives us a negative 11. So now I'm down to negative 2 times y. Since they multiplied, I do the opposite, which is divide. And I'm going to divide everything by 2, by negative 2. So it's going to divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. The negative 2 and the 2 cancel. So that leaves us, and I'm going to put the y back over on the left, so it's going to be y equals. That's a 1x divided by negative 2, so I'm going to make that a negative 1 half x. And then that's a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive. And since 11 over 2 will not reduce, I'm going to leave that as 11 over 2. And that is your answer. y equals negative 1 half x plus 11 over 2. And that is the inverse of y minus 1 equals negative 2 at x minus 5. And that, that's how you do the inverse uh, functions for section 2.4. Switch your x and y and solve for y. Did one as a slope intercept and one in point slope.
that concludes the video tutorial for section uh, 2.4, the inverses.